You can reopen your bar tomorrow. You will be back in business in Hong Kong. What are you most excited about? Well, again, uh, when the government uh, announced a couple of days ago, I think that's the, uh, uh, the happiest days uh, for me, my team. I think it's also for the, uh, the bartender or bar owner in, in Hong Kong. Uh, our life back to normal and then we'll be able to make a drink again, you know, serving our lovely customer as well as the, uh, you know, having sort with them, having fun, you know, and then uh, the bar is running again. Oh, social interaction. So you are an entrepreneur. You run some of the best bars in Hong Kong and Singapore. You know, how did your business sub survive this pandemic? Well, again, uh, we never thought that pandemic is going to be like really, really uh, uh, big in, 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 in Hong Kong or Asia, you know. But again, uh, we cannot uh, always thinking a negative uh, side, you know. Uh, very lucky that our government give, up, uh, give us some support, you know, subsidy, you know, paying. Uh, although like not big, but again, it's a very, very uh, good amount of money. Uh, in fact, also actually, we, we kind of like really uh, uh, have a plan, you know. Uh, it's kind of like really spontaneous plan. Uh, while while the, uh, the the bar is closed, uh, we decided you know to do the delivery cocktail uh, in the bottle, and then uh, you know we try also find other way that how we survive as well as you know uh, to pay our rent or our wages. The uh, cocktail bottle cocktail is is really really good to be honest with you. Uh, we uh, some of the guests also like take uh, take away from our bar uh, and also we delivering in their home so you basically took the initiative to to take your cocktails uh, to make it into a delivery service to for people to have it in their homes how did that work out for you how was business it was great actually the first three weeks were overwhelming and then not only the bottle we provided but we providing like uh, the same experience that our guests have in the old man you know uh, we giving the uh, garnishes, we giving the uh, ice block, and then we also kind of like uh, uh, teaching the uh, our 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 guests uh, how how to make these drinks, you know, in uh, in their home. Now you are a businessman. How much damage do you think this pandemic has caused the hospitality industry in Asia? And do you think you'll ever recover? Uh, well, to be honest with you, the the damage is really massive. Uh, I never ever you know you know seeing this kind of a damage in my whole career but as i said you know we can only be positive optimistic you know toward to this situation and make better plan in upcoming future to survive and then learn from the to survive actually uh, i think it's also hong kong uh, learn from the sars 2002 uh, and then hopefully hopefully you know, we can be recovered again by end of these years. Mm, well, sounds like time's ahead for a tiny bit of celebration. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Elaine.